Hey y'all, welcome back to Prayer from the Truth. Welcome to this evening's video. I hope everyone is having a happy Sunday today. If you are new to this channel, please click that subscribe button down below. Be sure to tap the notification bell beside it so that when I upload new videos, you will be notified. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about something that a lot of people has been emailing me about here lately because I had asked a question in one of my previous videos and was talking about some of the stuff that I was seeing around here that was starting to happen. And so people have started emailing me and letting me know what's going on in their areas. And there's a lot of people that are informing me that once again, they are experiencing quite a few shortages uh, in the food section and some of it non-food, such as paper plates, paper cups, washing powders, and stuff like that. So in my area, it really depends on the location of where you're shopping or what you might be actually shopping for. But I am noticing that there is starting to become more and more empty spots in the food section. Uh, the other day I went in one Walmart. It didn't have a whole lot of milk in it. It didn't have a whole lot of eggs in it. Uh, one area in one store that I went to, like the sandwich meat, the deli section type stuff with sandwich meat, lunchables, and all of that was pretty well completely wiped out. Some of the pasta in some stores has come back to what it was when there was the major pasta shortage, but it is still not back to pre-pandemic stuff. It's nowhere near what it was before all of this started. A lot of canned items are becoming uh, in shorter supply, and I have noticed that a lot of them are going up in price. A bunch of the vegetables, uh, like black beans, green beans, sweet peas, stuff like that, in a can at one of our Walmarts, has went up to 78 cents a can. And that's a big difference from not long ago when it was 50 cents a can. So we're seeing a lot of price increases, uh, shrinkflation in the packages. If you've noticed... If you go and look in your purple pantry, a lot of the stuff that you might have bought in the beginning of this year or maybe last year at a cheaper price is now up in price and down in size, which is something that's been happening this whole time. But it's getting more and more common uh, here lately. I've noticed when some of the stuff that's went out of stock comes back in, it's in a smaller package with a higher price. Our local stores... Walmarts, regular grocery stores, the prices are changing so much that they're getting to where they're not even changing the price tags. Like, you can go one week at a certain price with the price tag set, say $1, go back a week later and it's $115. Go back another week later and it's $125, but yet they have still not changed that sticker and it's still at the $1. But yet the prices are still increasing and the packaging is going down. So we're seeing a lot of shortages starting to show back up. A lot of the frozen foods, such as frozen vegetables or frozen fruits like blueberries and blackberries. Like it's almost impossible in my area right now to get frozen blackberries. I'm still getting some fresh at certain stores at a lot higher price if I find them, but we was getting the frozen uh, blackberries so that we could put them up and keep them longer and buy more of them at one time. Having a problem finding them anywhere. That little section is just blank and there's nothing in it and hasn't been for a while. Someone was also talking about uh, pool supplies, like, you know, shock for putting back in your purple pantry for chlorinating water and you know and helping to stabilize water and all that stuff in shtf situation and i was talking and it was on a live and i'm like we barely was even able to get supplies for our pool this year to even keep it going is how bad of shortages we were experiencing to the point that we actually even closed up our pool early and like quit even messing with it because I was having so much problem getting it without having to order the big supplies off of Amazon or somewhere like that. Locally, just could not hardly get the stuff to keep it going, which was really a pain. Like most all of this has been the whole time for a while now. So I know y'all understand what I'm talking about. So we have been doing a lot of going through our preps before it gets any colder, uh, seeing the things that we might need 
uh, for winter time, you know, I recommend you to do that. Go through your preps right now. See the things that you might have already used up and try to stock those back up before it gets any deeper into winter and it gets colder and there is more shortages, which is what they are predicting, is for it to get cold and for more shortages to happen, power grids to possibly go down. You know, all this crazy stuff that we've already been experiencing, except they're saying that it might even be worse than it has been. So, continue to prep, continue to pray, get your house in order the best you can, but definitely go through your stuff and see what you might have used up and see what you need to get back in stock before there's any more problems with the supply chains or power grid down or anything else that could affect you possibly stocking that stuff back up later. So I just wanted to get on here and give you all a heads up that I'm starting to get a lot of emails. If you're seeing shortages in your stores coming back or just starting or whatever is going on or if it's fully stocked, let me know in the comments down below so that we can kind of keep an idea of what is happening around the U.S., around the countries, the whole entire globe. Just let's all get together so that we kind of know what is going on so that we can keep a watch out to see if things are taking a turn even more for the worse so that more of us can be prepared and be ready. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have had a wonderful Sunday. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe. God bless you. Keep prepping.